Hello, I'm Rick Mercer. I am very proud of our men and women in the Canadian Armed Forces past and present and the work they do protecting Canada at home and abroad. Many Canadians struggle with mental health problems, but members of the Canadian Forces are at an increased risk because of the work that you do. There are many misconceptions about mental illness. There's a stigma about it and one that needs to go away. It's not a weakness a character flaw or something you can just suck up and get through. Like any other disease or a wound, it needs treatment and it's something you can recover from. Every day with treatment, support and help people recover from mental illnesses. I appeal to you, if you are struggling, even if you aren't sure what you're struggling with, get the help that you deserve. If you know someone who is struggling, encourage them to get the help they deserve. The military's healthcare system is there to help members like you. If you are a veteran, there are services and benefits available to you as well. But they can't help you if you don't come forward. Don't suffer in silence. Help is waiting for you. Do it for yourself. Do it for your family. Do it so there is no longer a stigma that prevents others from seeking care. Do it for all Canadians. Do it so we never hear about our sons or daughters suffering or worse, hurting themselves ever. We need you to protect and watch over us. To do that, you need to be healthy. You are our front line and we stand proudly behind you with admiration and respect. Many thanks to Honorary Colonel Rick Mercer for his heartfelt comments. Ladies and gentlemen, as your Chief of Defence Staff, I've been outspoken in my unwavering support for the health and welfare of our men and women in uniform. Mental illness is a battle we fight together. I've said it before, I'm saying it now, and I'll keep saying it until I no longer need to. We can help. This is the first in a series of videos on mental health and wellness. These videos will cover a range of subjects from breaking the stigma of mental illness to transitioning back to work or into civilian life and more. We have world-class programs and services that are here to help you when you need them. Take them, use them, and get better. We're with you every step of the way. In this video, we're going to explore stigma and hear from men and women who have struggled with mental illness men and women who have taken advantage of our healthcare services and come out healthier and happier in both their personal and professional lives. I'm also speaking from experience. When I say our services help many of our people, why? I am one of them. Twice in my 29 years of service, I have needed the assistance of our mental health professionals. I have had great personal and professional successes because of the help I've received. But enough from the leadership, let's hear directly from our members, follow their lead. My journey with, uh, into mental health uh, started when I was noticing things were outside the norm that I could not explain. I felt like as a, I was a good actress, that I was still smiling for everyone, but on the inside I was not happy. Well, les deux reprises où est-ce que j'ai consulté, euh, la première fois c'était un problème euh, avec ma conjointe, une séparation avec ma conjointe euh, au retour euh, d'une mission en Bosnie. Et la deuxième fois, c'est plus récemment, c'est un problème que j'ai eu avec mon père. Uh, I, I did not feel myself. I was crying um, a good portion of the time. I didn't want to leave the house. I couldn't eat. Euh, au début, j'ai commencé à demander de l'aide parce que je me suis divorcé avec euh, ma femme. I was struggling with my own um, personal inability to cope. About three months after I arrived from Afghanistan, my wife told me, listen, you need to get help. And because I couldn't explain it, I had to go find other information. You no, know, I always had the nickname G.I. Jane. You know, I was the, the go, 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 I could do anything. No one knew exactly what I was going through inside. Whew, I was afraid that I wasn't going to be the strong chick anymore. Oh, I was very afraid of that. I was scared. It took me eight years to actually seek help. There's that fear that something's going to happen. So a lot of guys would say, Oh, no issues. Oh, no problem. And at one point in time, you need to go and get the help because if you don't, your world around you is going to crash. Il y a pas de honte à avoir dans les maladies mentales. Ça prend une force de caractère pour aller chercher de l'aide. Puis il faut être fort. Il faut pas attendre parce que plus on attend, pire ça va être. Plus difficile ça va être. But it's actually very courageous to go ahead and say, I need help. Euh, ouais, peut-être que mes problèmes ne sont pas assez importants pour que j'aille consulter ou, euh, ou euh, ah, tu sais, bon, euh, les services de santé mentale, c'est vraiment pour les gens qui ont eu des problèmes en mission. Mais d'un autre côté, je me suis dit, euh, les services sont là, 
Il y a des gens là-bas qui peuvent m'aider. Le médical système était incroyable. It was amazing. Um, my chain of command was amazing. Um, you know, no judgment. Um, things got worse. I still wasn't able to sleep, so I phoned uh, CIFMAP, uh, Canadian Forces Members Assistance Program. Moi, j'ai utilisé le, le numéro 800, uh, la ligne militaire qui nous aide. Well, to tell you the truth, he was, uh, he was like a friend. And uh, it wasn't me sitting on a couch, you know, telling him about my, you know, dramas and stuff like that. It was more of a, a conversation like we're having right now. She was waiting to hear what I had to say. It wasn't made up. She says, I don't know. I don't have a file. I want you to just tell me what you think is going on. And let's just take it from there. He made me feel at home. He made me feel maybe safe a little bit, able to talk and, and, and open up. Tous les spécialistes, psychiatres, psychologues, médecins, qui te donnent un suivi extraordinaire, qui, qui font, ils te suivent, ils, te, ils font sûr que tu vas à tes rendez-vous, ils font sûr que tu es bien, on t'appelle chez toi. Écoute, je ne connais pas un autre travail qui ferait ça pour toi. Yeah, I trust my therapist 100%. The only time she discusses me is if I give her permission to do so. Uh, J'ai consulté uh, mon thérapeute et c'était 100% confidentiel. The system did exactly what you would want the system to do, which is protect my desire for privacy and confidentiality. Seeking help was the best decision I've ever made because, I mean, today I'm stronger than I've ever been. My husband said, you know, I got my wife back. My kids are like, we got our mom back. C'est comme avoir une jambe cassée, finalement. Écoute, si tu as une jambe cassée, tu vas aller voir le médecin. Si c'est quelque chose qui ne va pas bien dans ta tête, tu as besoin d'aide, je n'ai jamais eu de réaction négative de la part de personne. If anything, your boss is like, OK, well, they're doing something. They're going to get themselves fixed and they're going to be a good sailor as soon as they're fixed. Mon patron était magnifique. Il m'a supporté. Il m'a laissé aller à mes rendez-vous médicaux parce qu'au début, c'était quand même nombreux. Puis nous, on avait des horaires assez spéciaux. On n'a pas des horaires de 8 à 4 au travail. I've had four subsequent promotions to my first seeking help and I have my family still with me and I'm still here. It didn't hurt my career. Actually, to tell you the truth, I think it helped because uh, after getting the help, I was able to talk to young soldiers that had problems and were able to tell them, listen, uh, this is what I've gone through. So, I think it's important for me to d'aller de l'avant et de dire euh, non, il euh, n'y a pas de problème, euh, consultez, les services sont là pour nous. Si je vois quelqu'un en face de moi qui a eu les mêmes symptômes que j'ai fait, je me demande tout de suite s'ils ont besoin d'assistance et je vais juste essayer de les faire sentir qu'ils sont dans un endroit sécurisé. Si quelqu'un est en train de souffrir, définitivement, ne faites pas attendre. Si il y a une chose que je could do again would be to go for help a lot earlier. Aller consulter tôt avant qu'un problème devienne gros. Quand vous commencez à penser que peut-être que je pourrais peut-être aller déranger un travailleur social pour qu'il aille, mais allez consulter. Pick up the phone. Reach out. Talk to somebody. It's okay to be overwhelmed. It's okay to not know what to do. It's okay to be struggling. You need to think about what you need to do, what's best for you and your family. You have a long life, go live it.